Welcome back to Spurgeon for Homestead on another Mailbag Monday. So for a change of pace, I'm in Canaan's shop. I was going to do this outside, but it's a little windy and that kind of plays with the microphone a little bit. So um, so we've got five questions that we've had this week. Um, a couple of them we've gotten from multiple sources. Uh, so we just went ahead and included them. Um, the first question that I had from Mindy was what program are we using for pedigrees? So I kind of mentioned this in a couple different videos, but uh, I use Kintrax. It's uh, like 20 bucks or whatever for the full version. You can use it for multiple species. So I actually track my goats, uh, my dogs, rabbits. Um, I was trying to think of what else. Llamas. We've got the llamas in there. Um, you can set it up for birds too, but I didn't have a whole lot of luck getting it to configure the way that I wanted it for the poultry. But um, we track production, uh, vaccination record, worming, all that kind of stuff for all the critters through it. You actually set up an individual database for every species. So like I have a file for dogs and I have the file for the llamas and the goats and the rabbits. And I actually have my rabbits broken down by herd. So it's a little bit different. I actually have three different databases, four different databases for my um, rabbits. Um, it does take a little bit, <clears throat> if you're using it primarily for pedigrees, it takes a little bit of playing with to configure the templates that are in there to say what you want them to say and to show up the way you want them to show up. Um, and then in the main animal record uh, area, same thing. You kind of have to add some fields, particularly with rabbits because we'll have like grand champion numbers and registration numbers and ear numbers and that kind of stuff that it doesn't give fields for because we're pretty um, we're pretty specific in the rabbits. And I think the program is actually originally out of the UK, if I believe, if I remember correctly. Um, and you have to go in and set your breeds up and you have to set up your colors and that kind of stuff. But it's far cheaper than anything else. I've got friends that use Evans, um, bunny tails, bunny tracks, something like that. Uh, the thing I don't like about them is that they're too specific. I like something that I can use for everything, so I use it for, like I said, all the farm animals. So, um, Kindrax, you can find it online. They're, depending on your operating system, some of the older versions that run on some of the Windows platforms are now free. Um, I think they're only charging for the stuff that runs off the newest version of Windows. Uh, I do not know if it works off Apple because I don't have Apple, so... Okay, so Cherry asked about social distancing in our class. Were we going to be requiring masks? Were we going to be taking temperatures? Uh, were we going to be requiring negative test results? And the answer is yes, we will be doing state regulations, uh, which right now limit our sizes and say that we have to have masks even outdoors and social distance. Uh, we are not legally required to take temperatures, so I'm not going to do that. I also am not going to request a negative test result. Um, <clears throat> I don't say much about the whole COVID thing here, other than we've talked about kind of the impacts it's had on shows and, and shopping and all the rest of it. Um, and I'm not going to get into my opinion of it here. All I'm going to say is that we will do what is legally required of us. Uh, no more, no less. There you go. Another question I've gotten a whole bunch this week is, do we sell rabbits? Uh, yes, yes we do. Um, right now, most of my breeds have a pretty healthy waiting list. Uh, in particular, the Americans, I don't think I'm going to have anything else available this year. I have enough people looking for them. Uh, the Triantas, I may have some around Christmas. And the Harlequin, it kind of depends on what you're looking for. Uh, if you're just wanting brood quality, I can probably do that this fall. If you're wanting meat quality breeders, same thing, probably later this summer, since summer goes to the end of September. Um, if you want show quality, really nice show quality, it's kind of hit or miss, you know, or a March breed. So um, it could be Christmas, it could be the first of next year. But if you're looking for something, one of those breeds, do send me a message. And at least get on my waiting list. Uh, I get too many people that don't want to commit to the waiting list. But keep checking back with me quarterly. And it just keeps getting bumped out. So if you really do think you want some rabbits. You really need to get on the list for them. 
Um, I'm going to have some really specific uh, meat breeding rabbits coming up. I did breed a couple of my biggest Harlequin does to a couple of my American bucks because the demand for meat breeding rabbits is pretty big. And uh, yeah, so I, I did that. If you're looking specifically for some bigger meat type rabbits, uh, I think I've got about two more weeks before that litter is due, so they'll they'll be ready to go October-ish. So, same thing, send me a message, get on my list if you think you want some of those. Uh, I would imagine they're going to sell very, very quickly. Okay, and going back to our rabbit class that we're having in September, everybody keeps saying, because I know a lot of you are not exactly in Oregon, Washington, California, you know, an easy drive. Um, will we be doing an online version or will we be recording it and uploading it? I will not be recording the class and uploading it um, as we're doing it because, unfortunately, with the way the world works, that would require a whole lot of waivers and a lot of um, other logistics to get everybody that's involved to sign off saying that it's okay to show their likeness and things that I just don't really want to get into. So no, we will not be recording it. Uh, please also remember that we live really far off grid and we have to drive into town to upload videos. So um, even a 20 minute video or a 10 minute video takes about an hour for us to upload. We're talking about three hours in the morning session, three in the afternoon, and three in the Sunday morning session. So that is a lot of time in, in town to upload these. And we can't be homesteading if we're not here. So um, we're not going to do that. I am looking at trying to do maybe a series, which will be a little bit different than the Raising Rabbit series that we've got here on YouTube. Uh, more class-specific type stuff. I am looking at maybe filming that. If we do that, we're probably going to put it on Patreon. I know a lot of you are pushing us to put things on Patreon, and we're looking at it. It's probably going to be late fall into winter before I have time to make a whole big series of videos to do the rabbit class. So please be patient and remember that this is our busiest time on the homestead. So as much as we love doing the YouTube videos and answering all these questions and trying to do all this stuff for y'all, we still have the homestead to run. I've still got animals that need fed every day and weeds that need pulled in the garden and, you know, all that good stuff. So um, it's going to be later this year if, if we can do it at all. So just stay patient and as soon as we have updates, we will share them here. Okay, so the last question we had, a whole bunch of people have asked me because I made mention of the fact that I'm working on a rabbit cookbook. I've been working on it now for a year, and it kind of got pushed to the side. What formats will it be available? I am looking at doing a self-publish through probably Amazon. So if I do that, you'll probably have a couple of options. I've been looking at being able to download an actual a PDF version of the book or be able to purchase um, some kind of paper copy of the book. And I don't know if I'm going to have it spiral bound or just what yet, but... We'll have a couple of versions. I personally am not a big uh, PDF or on my phone kind of person. I don't have a Kindle. I don't do any of that. So for me, a book needs to be in paper and in front of me. And so that's probably, you know, going to be one of the options. But I know a lot of people are comfortable with the whole download thing. So uh, we'll look at a couple of those things. More on that coming up. Uh, I've been working on it again this last week. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully... This fall, I doubt I'll have it done in time for the class. I wanted to, but, um, you know, best intentions, monkey wrenches, the whole nine yards. So it might be closer to Christmas, but I am working on it. And uh, if anybody has recipes, like really great rabbit recipes that you want to share, I will be happy to put a little shout out to you in the cookbook about who the recipe comes from. And you can email those directly to me at srhomestead at yahoo.com. So um, if you got something you want to share, Feel free, and you know, I'm, I'm putting stuff together as fast as I can, and uh, you know, it takes time, but okay, so that is it. Those were our five questions for this week. Um, if you've got questions you want to see us answer in an upcoming video, please leave them down in the comments, or uh, send me an email, hit me up on Instagram, or on Facebook. So that's it for today. We will see you next time. Happy homesteading.